The calendar has turned and so has the weather. <laughs> Sounds like a good weekend to stay inside and catch a movie, maybe a musical. Uh huh. Sean Collier is here with his weekend guide. And Sean, you're starting off with something on stage or rather underneath it. That's true. We are going beneath <laughs> the stage at the O'Reilly Theater. If you've been to anything at Pittsburgh Public Theater, beautiful space, you yeah. know it very well. But you probably have not been underneath the stage itself. They have, it's almost as big as this studio, space underneath the stage for when things have to come in and out of the floor or when they're loading things okay. in. Well, uh, Alex Silberblatt, you see him there. He is a local actor. I've, I've known him forever. Uh, very, very talented. He's an actor and playwright. And he's done an adaptation loosely based on Edgar Allan Poe's Telltale Heart. Mm -hmm. But he said it, his character is like a dyed-in-the-wool Pittsburgh kid, you know, the strong accent hanging out at the local bars. And so it's set in a Pittsburgh basement. Oh, that's cool. So you walk out onto the stage and then you walk down these stairs and all of a sudden you are in a perfectly recreated Pittsburgh basement with the wood paneling and the beer signs on the walls. Pittsburgh potty? That's what I was going to ask. I did not see a Pittsburgh okay. potty. Right. Uh, it is, there's it still is. time to add that. Yeah, get a, get yeah. a toilet. Just find, go, go to Home Depot and buy one and just set it there. <laughs> that's all it, it ever is. You can return Everybody it after the show. Everybody will understand, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it was such a, a, a fascinating show and so intimate and you're up close at it. Really a great performance. Great in the cultural district. By the way, The Wiz is fantastic as well. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I saw the segment you just did. I saw I saw both of these in the same night. I saw The Wiz at 7:30 and Telltale Heart at 10:30. Wow! And at The Wiz, people were jumping out of their chairs and cheering at these songs. Wow! That's fantastic. Yeah. That's wonderful. Really? That's wonderful. Yeah. What a double header that oh. night was. It, was. it was long and cold, uh, but uh, <laughs> lots of entertainment. <laughs> Let's talk music. Mm -hmm. Joni Mitchell. This tribute, uh, really. I mean, this is exciting. Unfortunately, Joni is not playing in Pittsburgh. She's celebrating her 80th birthday <laughs> next week. She's she's earned a, a slower schedule at this point. This was her last. I, I watched this the other day. This is from 2022. She did a surprise appearance at the Newport uh, Folk Festival. Wow. And this is her singing both sides now with Brandy Carlisle. After I watched that, I wasn't OK for several hours. It's like this, oh, this really will knock you out as Joni Mitchell's music certainly will. You'll find out Saturday night at Pittsburgh Winery, speaking of uh, the underground, they have a series called Songwriters in the Cellar, where they have these very intimate concerts uh, underneath their main space. There is a 80th birthday tribute to Joni Mitchell with a lot of great local songwriters and some that are coming in from out of town. Hear these great songs in a beautiful setting this Saturday night. And Ashley Marina, I think, is going to be with us tomorrow. So we'll oh, get that's a little right. Preview, She's so this coming cool. into studio to preview the show. Uh, let's talk about the Nightmare Before Christmas. Unfortunately, we are past spooky season. I know I'm very upset about uh -huh, it. Uh -huh. It's a shame. How do you transition from Halloween to Christmas? With the Nightmare Before <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> of course, the classic work of stop motion animation, both a Halloween movie and a Christmas movie. This has taken on such a life since it came out. It's 30, 30th anniversary this year. And I know people with three-year-olds, four-year-olds that already love this movie because it's yeah. just so fun and has such a distinct look. And this weekend, it will be on Pittsburgh's biggest screen at the Rangos Giant Cinema. Larger than you've ever seen it before. If you've seen it all the time, you're still going to want to see it right. in that great setting this awesome. weekend. Just incredible with mm -hmm. the big screen. All right, before we let you go, where are you going this weekend? You and I will be in the same place tomorrow <laughs> night at Recipe for Hope. Wonderful. Great charity event, mm -hmm. food, local figures, great auction, have a lot of fun there. And then later that same night, I packed my schedule too much. But I know Arcade earlier Comedy this week, Theater. yeah, you were talking about Arcade Comedy Theater's 10th anniversary. I'll be at their late show Friday night celebrating their anniversary. Sean, great stuff as always. Thanks, Thanks Sean. Thank you.